So it begins, people. So it begins. The like the way consoles have worked for decades, years, however long they've been existing in existence, is changing. To keep up with technology and the advancements in hardware, it looks like the Xbox and the PlayStation are receiving upgrades. It's amazing. Uh, what a time to be alive. And is something is it something that really needs to happen? I mean, I don't know. I don't really think so. I, but I guess you know, uh, it was I forget who said it or what video I was watching. Someone said it. Consumer demand has brought this about because if people were happy with the Xbox and PlayStation where they are, they wouldn't they you know the companies wouldn't be releasing upgrades like this this stuff probably wouldn't be happening but i know one thing i don't i don't think the consumers or us were really asking for is vr and i think they're they you know the companies are kind of just brought that about or brought it back you know something to keep people um i guess hooked in the industry which really excuse me which really isn't needed well it wasn't needed it's just as long as they keep good games coming you know whatever definition you want to use for good games people's um interest in gaming would have just stayed steady you know that's probably what would have happened for this console generation as well because I, I, I look at like okay the performance of some of the games right what if they would have just dialed back the graphics some and kept gameplay paramount like let's keep 1080p and let's keep 60 right but let's dial back how good some of the games look so they can run efficiently at 1080p and 60 on the hardware that is the playstation uh 4 and the xbox one i think people would have been happy man you know they probably would have had to put up put up with hearing from um pc players like how it looks so much better on pc that's true you know what i'm saying but if developers were doing their jobs with the games they could have just kept the pc version the best looking and the I, I guess the optimal version of the game and the console version a really good version a really good playable version of the same game i'm talking about multiplats as far as um like you know uh console exclusives and or exclusives in general go that's a different story <sighs> excuse the yawning because i'm laying down but it's it's crazy man to be alive to experience and see all this um i don't really know what else to say i mean all the videos are out there everyone's talking about the new hardware that's coming speculating about how powerful it's gonna be or what it's gonna be at the end of the day i still think you'll be better off going with a pc to be honest with you and i don't think people are you know not smart enough or whatever to make a pc or get a pc and use it because computers are a household thing now everyone has one in one um, scenario or another, people have to use a computer. Whether they, you know, what they do with it or how they use it is up to them. But people have to use it at some point. Now, software, man, can be used and manipulated, you know, in innumerable amount of ways. They can make software man to make it so that your pc boots up into a gaming mode or something kind of like steam os or something but they can make a pc uh just a partition on a hard drive just for a playstation so you boot up and they probably give you like an option on what os you want to boot like i want to boot into the playstation os and then boom voila you in the playstation ecosystem or you can just restart it and then it pops up again uh, like a BIOS type thing. And then I want to load up the Xbox uh, ecosystem. Voila, you're in the Xbox um, ecosystem. It could be as something as simple as that because PC can do it all, man. You, The PC is really just the hardware. The software is what makes it, you know what I'm saying, make it do what it do. So at the end of the day, PC can run 
anything the consoles can run you know and that's i'm not saying it to, to to you know hold it over their head or anything like that but i'm just saying there are solutions to this gaming situation that we have man and i don't know why excuse me we aren't thinking outside the box on some of this stuff because it's just people are gonna now be paying all this money for a console every two three years which who knows i don't know i th i mean well i i, I gotta look at the positive on that too because that probably will be a good thing if you buy something digitally on xbox you probably won't need to worry about buying it again because all the future xboxes will probably be compatible with that game so that's a good thing same thing for playstation so that's a good thing too but i don't know man it's just i think you know just money and how much money people are going to be spending or it could go the route of being like how people have moved from buying uh phones at a subsidy they just now lease the phone or they pay a monthly fee for the phone to buy it out they could probably start doing that with consoles now so i don't know man all of this stuff is just so new and interesting and it's just going to be crazy to see which way it goes but anyway, thank you for watching and listening, man. Y'all have a good day. Good evening. Stay positive. Subscribe. Like the video if you choose to. Peace out.